Hello everyone, how are you doing? I hope you're keeping very well. This is Arif Kadem welcoming you to Arif Education TV after a very, very long time. Dear viewers, I have received a lot of requests from mainly my students from Australia that I should uh, make some episodes on pronunciations. When I say from Australia, basically almost all the students are coming from different countries in the world and they often struggle with the pronunciations of a lot of common words. So today is the first episode of Correct Your Pronunciation. So dear viewers, I have written a number of common words here and we are very much familiar with each of the words. The problem is when we pronounce, when we uh, speak. Okay, uh, so today I will show you how you should correctly or accurately pronounce them and some tricks to remember how you can pronounce them. And you know, from time to time, I would love to make some episodes on a lot of other common words. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe Arif Education TV and watch other clips by visiting a playlist. I have a number of interesting clips there. I'm sure you'd love them as well. So let's start here. The first word I have written here is S-U-I-T-E. I was about to say, but hang on. I want you to think. I'm sure some people pronounce it like this, suit. Or some people even don't know what it is. This one is not actually suit. Let's have a look. This picture is a sweet. What does it mean? Not sweet we eat, but sweet is like a kind of flat type of thing. But you know, we book it a hotel. So generally, four-star, five-star hotels, suite. It's like a kind of a studio type of thing, okay? So the pronunciation is not actually like suit. Many people make that mistake. It's actually like sweet, what we eat as dessert, okay? So pronunciation is very similar to this one, sweet. And if we take an example, did you book the sweet for holidays okay so before you go on holidays you'd love to reserve a suite we can even say that toilet suite as well you know that area then dear friends i have written f l o u r many people especially people coming from non native english speaking countries uh, pronounce it like floor Okay, F L O O R, which is on the ground where I'm standing now. So it's not like actually floor. You'd be surprised to know. It's actually like a flower. Okay, flower. We smell. Okay, so the pronunciation will be like this one, flower. So this is wrong. F L O U R is flower. And what it means, if we look at the example, you get the meaning. Bread is made from flour. That's it. Bread we eat is made from what? Flour. Flour comes from where? From wheat. You know wheat in the field? Then dear friends, the third one. D-E-B-U-T. It's a bit complicated. This T remains silent here. Okay, you don't pronounce it. It's D-U-B-U-T. Many people think it's debut right? or debut. No, it's actually like day. We start with D-A-Y, then B-U-E. Debut, debut. Okay, debut. If you look at the example, this is his D. E B U E debut match means when a player plays 
a match for the first time in his or her life. Let's say a footballer, a cricketer, a basketball player, doesn't matter, debut. Then the fourth one, very commonly used, but many people struggle to correctly pronounce it. V-A-L-U-E, many people say simply VELU, which is wrong. You have to make it in a good way. I'm sure when you hear me, you will realize that yes, that's how you generally hear from English speakers, okay? So it's not VELU, it's actually VALUE, VALUE, okay? V, v, you have to make it a little bit thicker and then don't just end with LU, it's LU, VALUE. Okay, value. If we take an example, does he give you any value? Does he give you any value? Then another common word, I often hear people say finance, which is again wrong. You don't say like FIF, you will make it like FY, FI. Like when you say fry, you know, when you make something, cook something fry fly fly similar way fi then finance finance okay so what is the example here she studied in finance it's like a subject you can say in accounting in physics in medicines whatever you like and make sure when you write a subject you make it in capital letter, okay, F. If you write here accounting, business, write A or B in capital. Okay, that's another mistake people make. So it's not finance, it's finance, okay. Then, dear friends, another common word, but many people struggle to pronounce it, F-I-L-M. Many people tend to say flim, flim, like F-L together, no. What do you have to say? F double E type of thing like I have written here, okay? So F double E fee, fee. Then you touch L, okay? Then slightly M. So film, try film. I'm saying slowly, but when you speak, as you get used to saying, then you make it faster. Film, okay? Not flim. Even some people say, I'm sorry to say, film. That's also wrong. Film try film okay you can make a sentence here they are making a new film they are making a new film like a movie okay type of thing then dear friends another common word o-f-t-e-n it's quite funny because uh, it has a t in the middle of the word but t should not be pronounced even though some Australian, New Zealanders, or even British people, they pronounce T, but in standard English, that's wrong. You shouldn't say often, you should say simply what? This T doesn't get pronounced, as I said, often. Simply often. Something that happens, uh, you know, on and off, pretty much regularly type of thing. So you can say, we, okay? often go there we often go there like nearly like regularly you can say we go there then dear friends as who you are what is it have a look at the picture in the picture we saw what the lemon the girl is having a little lemon and her face looked very uh, funny obviously it was not sweet so if something is not sweet it can be bitter so in this case it's not actually sour many people pronounce it like sour is sour no it's actually pronounced so this is wrong and this is the right one like sour sour s o u ear sour okay not sour the lemon is sour even the mango I know generally uh, is sweet, can be sour as well. Let's see, the lemon is sour. Then, very popular 
fish in Australia. It's similar to, you know, often thing, like we said that T doesn't get pronounced, remain silent. Here, this L, okay, in the middle, is also not pronounced. So what do you have to say? Simply, salmon. Like what I have written here, similar to this, S-A-M-A-N, salmon. In the example, Australia is famous for salmon fish, S-A-L-M-O-N. This fish is very popular in Australia. If you come to Australia or if you live in Australia, I'm sure you try. Uh, it's a great fish. The last one, very complicated for many people when they try to pronounce. Look at the spelling. S T A T U T E. It looks like statute. In fact, many people pronounce it like this statute or statue. Second one is slightly correct, but the correct pronunciation should be here. Look at this sta, like A R in between, statute, like C H double O T. You have to remember this thing, statute. Now this T, when you pronounce it, don't pronounce it 100%. Just touch it like 30%, 35%, statute. Not like statute, statute, no. Okay, just simple touch, statute. That's it. So the example here is there is a big, what? Statute in? Brazilian city Rio you may have seen this on TV definitely or uh, the cars or pictures anywhere have a look at the picture then you know better so anything of this kind can be called a statue okay so in Brazilian city in Rio uh, there is a very big one I don't know how big it is because I haven't been there, but I can imagine that this is really big. Before we wrap up, very quickly, try with me. I hope you have been trying. Please try again. What is it? Not suit, sweet. Okay? This one, not floor, flower. This one, not debut or debut, is debut. Make sure it's like D A Y. That's how you start pronouncing okay debut then very common one not bellu or velu value okay value then not finance finance okay finance then not film or film film i know it's very hard to pronounce quick so that's why you should try my technique fee Fee, just try it. Fee without L, then touch L. Film. You'll get it. Not often, even though some people, as I said, English speakers are pronounced like often, which is wrong. It's often. Simply often. Then not sour. 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 Okay. This one, not salmon. Salmon. L doesn't get pronounced here. Salmon. T doesn't get pronounced here. Okay. Last one, not a statute or a statute, okay? It's a statute. Simply a statute, okay?
dear friends, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you like it, encourage the channel by pressing this thumbs up to like it so I can make on a regular basis a lot of episodes of this kind. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe this channel and press the ringtone next to the subscribe button. Share it or share any other uh, video you like. And finally, if you used to leave any comment with any request or any clarifications, you're more than welcome to leave as many comments as you like. I look forward to seeing you again very soon with another interesting episode. Thank you very much and have a very, very wonderful day. Bye-bye.